Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to trace your JPEG into a proper vector format. We are using Affinity Designer version 2.1. This will be a manual trace because there's no auto trace feature in this software. So if you are looking for auto trace, one magic button, that's not it. We're going to simply drag some shapes, merge them together using some pen tool and retrace the whole image. All right, so here I am in the software and as you can see my JPEG, it's really tiny. If I stretch this up on this A4 page, we can see how pixelated it is. All of those pixels around. So the perfect solution will be to trace this into a vector. Luckily, it's a comic style illustration so not too many colors and shapes are rather simple this way i don't need to overuse pen tool if you're tracing something very realistic then the pen tool will be your most important tool in our case you already can see some shapes like ovals or circles so let's start with those obvious shapes i will grab this oval tool a lips tool and i will try to trace those eyes if you hold the shift, you will have a perfect circle. One problem, the fill color is covering the image now. So let's get rid of the fill color temporary. For the stroke, use some crazy bright color like pink. All right, 1.5 will do. This way we can easily evaluate. Where's the vector object take a look if i click in the backdrop i can move the original image you want to avoid that so for now i will just lock this layer with the jpeg and now it's locked all right let's duplicate this ellipse by holding command while dragging this okay and we got nice start here we are already here so let's continue I using ellipse to draw this shape as well. Inside we got some shapes that we will use line to draw them. So one line will be here. One will be definitely around here. And I need to make one more line from here to here. Okay. I will modify those lines, make them thicker, just like that. And I will also turn them into shapes so we can expand stroke in the layer menu. This way we turn them into shapes. You know what? Let's add those three shapes together using add at the top. And now just one shape. All right, what else? Let's use a triangle for the nose. I draw a triangle here. Let's go back to 1.5 for the stroke width. I rotate my triangle and I will try to position the triangle around here. All right, of course, it's not matching the original design just yet. So we will need to make some changes to it. All right, let's convert to curves. Thanks to that, we can drag our curve around to match the original design even better. All right, that's nice. So we draw the facial features. Now let's tackle the head shape. That's the easy shape, right? Take a look, I can draw ellipse not matching the shape and then using the transform tool, I can transform this into a proper shape. All right. Almost good. Let's do something similar for ears.
just like that. Okay, I'll duplicate this here. And now I'm going to unite all three shapes. Same technique, I can click plus here at the top, or you can use the shape builder tool in the plus mode and draw across shapes you wanna unite. Nice. There, I will grab a pen tool. So let's use a pen tool finally, and I will trace this shape here inside. Just like that. I can use the same shape at the side, so I'll command, drag it here, and flip. Perfect. You can select both same time holding shift to reposition them at the center. All right, we got most of the work done up here. Let's go with the body. I'm using pen tool here. And I'm making this really ugly. Why is that? Take a look at the top, the bottom. Because I can't. Nobody will see this line later on after I put color in. So keep in mind some shapes will cover other shapes. We don't need to spend 10 15 minutes make them really nice if they will be under another shape. That would be a waste of your time. And now I can adjust that over here. All right. Adding node here so I can delete the one below. Right, almost done here. I think it's time to put some colors into this guy. So what I'm going to do next, I will move away the original image. So let's unlock this artboard. This way we can use a space around. So I use artboard tool and I click insert artboard. If you click it for the first time, you will not insert a new artboard. You'll just unlock the one you're using. All right, let's check where was the original image. You may remember I locked this down. I wanna unlock this layer so I can move it up. Just like that. This way we will be able to pick some colors using the color picker tool. So I pick the color from the original image. And there is black stroke as well. All right, let's go with 11 points. And now I can do the same with other elements. This one. Darker brown, no stroke, and like that. Okay, the body will be the very same color. So, you know what? If I select this shape and I click Come and See, then select this other shape and I go to Edit, Paste, Style, I will copy the style of the previous one. Let's go under. It was above like that, so I need to push it under on the layer panel. You just drag it all the way down. All right, what else? I think our head is a bit too high, so let's drag it below the facial features. That's better. All right, I can paste the style I copied before here. For my eyes, that's even easier. Just a black color inside. Here's the color. No stroke. And again, we go black color. And our nose filled with black color again. And here it is. We trace this Mr. Brown into a vector version. This way, I can scale him up as I want. 
I can turn him into coloring book. I can just get the color out. Or give him a new alternative color easily because now it's a editable vector file. So as you can see, even without auto trace, we are able to do a decent job if we are dealing with this kind of illustration. Thank you for listening. Keep in mind, I got more than 100 tutorials for Affinity Designer. So feel free to check them out in the playlist. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.